All right, folks. So this is a permanent RV hookup. Permanent RV hookup. You have to excuse me. I'm somewhat dehydrated, but uh, anyway. So been on the excavator all day. Then the John Deere taking down trees. But uh, all right. So we've got two of these on the property, and uh, this one is made out of four by four, two four by fours, and a five quarter board. You know, the deck floor. And uh, I used that because it was scrap from uh, my son-in-law's pile down there. And, uh, well, it was free. And so that's what I used. Uh, two 4 by 4s two 80-pound bags of concrete in the hole. And uh, that's it. Now, the, uh, the other uh, permanent RV hookup uh, is... Well, it's down that way, and it is two six by sixes because that's what I had, and so I used two six by sixes. Could have used one six by six or two four by fours, so either way is is good. All right, so what we have here, I did this all myself. We have all underground electric here, as you can see. We've got the vaults in. We've got three vaults in in about a thousand feet or so and uh, this is going to be a permanent RV hookup here for company or whoever and uh, I've got a 200 amp service with a socket uh, so it uh, we can put a meter right on this box here it's just one box and uh, although it's a little more money it saves you a little bit of work and so that's what we did there so all right uh, so what we've done, of course, is we've ran the, got a sweep coming up and we ran the, uh, triplex that is a two, four aug, one, two aug, the neutral is a two aug, ran it up through here and then connect it to the meter box. Now, now right here, there is going to be a shield and you have to have that shield in there. Um. Same with the top. If you go in to the top, there's a shield in the top when you come down through. So however you do it, you've got to have a shield ready. You come in from the top or you come up from underground, come up from the bottom. Uh, what else do we have here? So we got a 50 amp service here, plug, and then we got a 20 amp GFI over here. Um, now for the uh, 50 amp, I used a 6 aug wire, 6 six three and then uh for of course for the 20 amp i use a 12 gauge 12 aug uh wire now our main ground wire it's it's right in here going up and it's hooked up to here now that is a four aug and it is just a solid copper wire and on these uh rv hookups you've got to have you've got to have a uh Two eight-foot grounding rods. They gotta be gotta be pounded in all the way, and so you get one. Uh, keep it about a foot, no more than two foot from your your service here, and then the other has to be at least six foot six feet from from the first one. So we've got this one here, this one right here, and then uh, of course we're connected, grounded right here. And then we've got an, the four hog grounding wire, bare, solid wire is going in the ditch. And it is about seven feet away over here. And so, yeah, can you see it there? Somewhere. Anyway, right there, I do believe. Yep. That's it. And she's hooked up there. So, okay. So you got that. that you've got to have two eight-foot grounding rods. They got to be pounded in all the way. They got to be connected to each other with four aug bare, solid bare copper wire. And then you get the brass clamps. Let's let's take you off of here. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because there was some good videos out there, but they weren't thorough. They weren't thorough. See that? Explains itself. I will bury that. I'll leave it uncovered though because I've got to get an inspection. 
Now I've already passed an inspection on the one down there. We'll see if he likes the four by fours. Uh, if I have to, and he wants me to put a six by six in, I'll stick one right in the middle. But uh, I believe the four by fours will do. So my ground wire is coming in. Now make sure you you nail that, staple that on. See them staples? Let's see how that looks pretty clean. I mean that's that's not like electrician clean. But it's pretty clean. Now you have a little bitty hole. One of these deals here. See that little, see that little thing there. See my screw. Ah, hang on, folks. Just pop that little thing out right there, and then voila, that's what you got. And bring it right on through. Now this is a square D, square D meter main. It's what you want, folks. I got this at Lowe's. This is where you hook it up. All right, so here's my triplex coming up from the underground. You can see the rest of it over there. So this is new construction. We don't have electricity here yet. Now this thing gets a shield. Gotta have this shield on. Now go ahead and just put it on before the inspector gets there so he doesn't have to mess with it. But let me show you something here. You see this? Make sure you put this, uh, I forget what this is called, but make sure you put that on there. And then there's a, a, a PVC bushing that screws on here. Now they like to see that, but I'm not gonna put one on here. You don't have to have it on there, but they like to see it on there, so get one. Now this is all two and a half inch. And then I will stick this shield. You gotta, it takes two hands, so we're not gonna put it on right now, but you gotta have that shield, friends. This uh, triplex has got to be shielded off. All right, and so now I went on ahead and knocked out for my 50 amp and my 20 amp uh, breaker. And that way when the uh, inspector is done, uh, he'll just pop that back on, put it back together more than likely if I'm not here. So uh, let's see what else you can see. Let's go up here. Now up here you wanna, you wanna loop this. You wanna loop, loop this wire really good. And to get you a good, don't just come up and boom and then come over and boom, you know, don't do that. Loop it, get you a good loop in there. See that? Huh? How do you like me now? Put you a good loop in there. All right, folks. And so this, so the shield, let's, let's go back. Sorry. Let's go back. Sorry, folks. We got, we'll, we'll put the shield on there. And you see that? You see the two holes? Well, that will go, that will be up in there like so. Huh? And then it, they had a grounding screw. It was kind of crazy. That will go in there and it will hold it in place. And then that, that way that shield cannot be removed. Do that before your inspector gets there. He, he really doesn't need to see this. All right. So what else do we have? All right. So 50 amp for a 50 amp and I've got six aug wire now uh, some fo some folks will do eight I do six so just want to be sure whether it be a little too big which it's not anyway so that's not like super clean but it's clean enough all right let's go into here now listen to me listen to me don't order one of these off of Amazon. Don't get a cheap piece of junk. Eaton. E-A-T-O-N. Get one of these. Get one of these, folks. I, I wasted hours upon hours and a lot of money on junk. Uh, Amazon junk. And even went to Wholesale Supply here. And uh, what they gave me was, was pretty much just junk. And uh, went to Lowe's and got eaten, eaten. Now this 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 doesn't come with it, but but they'll they'll carry this. And got a one inch female. That's a one inch female. Look, got my little offset. Now this has got to be. You need to make it weather tight, weather tight, rainproof. 
All right, folks. So there we go. And um, ground, white, and then your blacks. Or, excuse me, your black and red. So black and red. It'll say X and Y. And these are a little difficult to work with. You got the six hog wire in here, hard to deal with, hard to push around, hard to move around. But folks, you don't want anything less. And this is a good, decent, clean little uh, pole here. All right, so we got the 20 amp. Pop her up, there we go. I did have 15 amp in there, bought, bought it all together. I thought it was a 20 amp, and my son-in-law said, hey, it's not, it's not a 20 amp, and so, anyway. Uh, all right, so we got the weather tight, weather tight, and that's that flexible conduit. What else, folks, what else? Now, just make sure when you go to put these up that you can use four by fours. Don't use one, use two. Uh, you know, two six by sixes is awesome, but it's an overkill. If you're going to do two posts, do two four by four if you can. And so this is a square D. Square D, go with the square D. Eaton. E A T O N. Eaton. That's how they say it in Tennessee and Georgia. Eaton. Uh, make things somewhat clean. They don't have to be electrician clean they don't have to be absolutely perfect but uh, make sure they look decent you know make it look good so we passed inspection on john's house the rough uh him and adam uh did all the electric in there and passed first time awesome uh thank thankful that adam is up here helping us folks so thankful they're building closets. They're doing all sorts of good things. And uh, so that is just a load off of me. And uh, off of John, too. Off of Billy and everybody else. So thankful for that. So thankful. Going to give them a big kiss. But uh, anyway, so that passed first time. And uh, that's not bad for folks who ain't licensed electricians. And then my uh, other RV hookup down there passed, first shot, and I'm sure this one will too. The only issue I might have, I didn't, I didn't check to see if I could use two four by fours, uh, but I think it said use one six by six. So two four by fours is a uh, more than one six by six. And like I said, if they're gonna make me put a six by six in here, I'll put it right here in the middle. Boom, boom, boom. Be done with it. Strap and wrap everything. Screw everything together weld it with screws all right folks so i don't think i missed anything don't forget to put this shield on here got to have that shield on there and screw it in here just like i showed you loop these loop them really good now this is four aug four aug two aug yeah and uh, that's what they require here and make sure you put that uh Oxidation stuff on there. What is that stuff called? Let's let's find it here, folks. Let's look and see. Where are you at? Where are you at? Well, anyway, it's somewhere around here. You probably see it. Holler at me if you see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, ox guard right here. Get you some of this. You absolutely have to have this. This is aluminum wire. And you have to have this stuff. Got to have it. And so you take it, you take your wire, after you strip it, and then goop it all over the part that you stripped, and then goop, goop it in here, and get it good. Make it sloppy. You want that, you want that inspector to see it. Now don't fake it. Do it for real. Because folks, I've had this happen to me before on a, on a mobile home I lived in. Not a motor home, a mobile home. And uh, they didn't have any of this stuff on there, and it messed it up. It messed it up. So make sure you got it on there. It'll keep it from oxidizing, and it'll uh, keep a good connection. Oh, what else? What else? What else? 
that is it folks I mean you see it kind of explains itself see how everything is there I gotta put your white on, on your neutral bar your ground on your grounding bar duh and so like with this 20 amp we got just the black going to the breaker the neutral going to the neutral bar the ground going to the grounding bar uh, Yes, all right, so I will put, put the shield on. He will be here tomorrow. I'll have this uh, undone for him. I won't cover it back up. And, bef and he'll look at it real quick. He'll see that I've got my, my um, screws here. And he will, he, he will, he will put those on. Uh, he, will, he will put this thing back together before he leaves. Doesn't have to do that, but that's how this guy is. But uh, anyway, not knock out your, knock out your um, things there for your breakers. That way he doesn't have to do it. But that's it, folks. I, man, I hope I don't. I hope I didn't miss anything. If I did, I am so sorry. And uh, I wanted this to be very thorough. And I know it's dragging on, but that's okay. You can cut the video off. You don't have to watch the whole thing. And let's just make sure we got everything. Like I said, folks, I'm going to say it again. Listen, do not buy a cheapie. Do not buy a cheapie. You will wish you had not. I bought a cheap one right here, Amazon Special. And uh, could not get the wire to, 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 to stay tight. I, hours and hours of wasted time. I was so mad last night. I couldn't see straight, folks. Anyway, eating salad tonight for dinner. Got to get in there and get it done. Emergency disconnect. Square D. I do like the square D. I like the GE too. Ah, you know, they're about all, this, all about the same. They're all good. But I do like the square D. And then, uh, folks, make sure it ain't going to rain on it before the Mr. Inspector gets there. If you think it's going to rain on it, Get you one of them big black trash bags. Just cover that whole thing. And, uh, yeah, we don't want to get them wet. Anyway, folks, I do believe that is it. Huh? Triplex, four, four, and two. Six aug for the 50 amp. 12 aug for the 20 amp. Four aug for the ground, bare, four aug, solid, bare, wire. Make sure this shield is on for the inspector. Make sure everything's good and tight. Look, um, I, I uh, went on ahead and put pipe dope on, 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 my, on my threads here. Went on ahead and did it. Didn't need to do it, but I did it anyway. And then I will uh, silicone this. And I'll make sure that this thing is absolutely watertight. Uh, probably eventually put just like a little board over this, a little pressure treated board to help keep water off of it. But uh, anyway, folks, I'll do that after Mr. Inspector is gone. Anyway, folks, so hopefully we'll get electricity soon. Doing good here on the old homestead. Uh, Lauren and Adam are going to take care of business. John and Billy are at Walmart. Me and the lady, we're going to kick back and eat a broccoli salad. And uh, that's it. John's got to come home and pound in one or two grounding rods. Two, I do. Uh, no, one. One grounding rod, I just pounded in two. But uh, he's got to do one down there at his house. And uh, that's it, folks. She is done. We'll see you. This is a 200 amp meter 200 amp square d meter main and um here's your meter sets in here and this is all connected already so you don't have to worry about it this is a 200 amp panel it is a overkill for for this but folks you you get what you can get <laughs> you take what you can take 
uh, things are, are hard to get right now. And, and I seen this and I was like, well, that's 200 amp. That's a complete overkill, but I do like overkill. So, so not much to choose from. So I choose that. So uh, that's how that went. But uh, anyway, folks, have things set and ready for your inspector. And uh, I don't know, maybe you won't get one. Anyway, folks, I tell you, hook it up. I hope uh, this video was helpful. And if it's not, oh, well, well, it's too bad. <laughs> so, oh, well, folks, we, we do plumbing here. We don't do electrical. So, um, anyway, we'll see. You. Yeah, well, I went to pick up the conduit for this, just some conduit. I, I was over in the plumbing department. Before I realized what I was doing, the guy uh, sees me in there and he come talk to me that works there. And he said, hey, man, so, well, so what do you need today? And I'm like, you know what? So I used to being in the plumbing section, I'm going to mosey right on over to the electrical. Anyway, folks, we'll see you.